So, um, what we have here, this is white clay, okay? Um, and what's gonna happen on Wednesday is it's gonna be right here on this table, okay? And as, so what that means is you guys are gonna be responsible for cutting off your own pieces um, because I don't know who this sub is yet. So all that means is you're gonna get a fresh thing like this. Please don't just grab it and stick your fingers in it. I know you're all gonna wanna do that because this is pre-wedged clay. It's brand new. So what that means is that there's no air bubbles in it right now. If you guys are gonna go and you dig your little fingers in it and make pukas, then what's gonna happen is you're going to end up with air bubbles and what happens to clay if there's air bubbles? Explode. Explode. Okay, so do not, all you're gonna do is just, right, start by this, just unpeeling it. This wire cutter, here's the deal with this, okay? You're all gonna go like about a thumb's width or two pinky widths thick, okay, of clay. So you're just gonna go ahead and look at where the top is, line it up here, okay? Go all four corners. Do you guys see how it's all four corners there? Mm -hmm. I haven't pulled it yet. It's just wrapped around relatively straight. Then, okay, then you just hold it right here on the end. Can you get this ankle? And you just pull it and it will make a nice queen cut. Okay, so you guys need to cut your own pieces. Don't go thicker than this. This is all you need. That's very Was that satisfying? I'm sure. Okay, so this is gonna be on that table for you guys. Okay, so now once you have your chunk, we are going to make it into a thin, even sheet of clay known as a slab. Okay, so to get it started, just because you see how it's kind of lumpy on one side, Okay, I'm just gonna do a couple times. I'm just gonna do it just to flatten it a little bit. Okay, I'm not going super hard. You guys don't need to like, you know, go crazy. Just a few times, okay? Just to kind of get it flattened. Now, what you need, this is our rolling pin, AKA PVC pipe, okay? These are called guide sticks, AKA paint mixers, okay? So the reason why we use these is because this helps our clay become nice and even. So you're gonna put them on either side of your clay piece, okay? And you're just gonna use them like a train track, okay? So you notice that my rolling pin is being, um, it's following this, okay? They're not like this, okay? Why do you think that is? So it's even so it's even. Yeah, it's never gonna get thinner than this. Okay, so do a couple rolls and then grab it on one side, not like this, but on one the other side. Flip it. The more you flip it, the easier chant, the easier you're gonna time you're gonna have rolling at your slab. So I'm just gonna go. Notice I don't do very much, and then I flip it. Do you notice, notice how I'm flipping it? There you go. Same side. Yeah, turn it. Turn Why it am I going from the side? So you do you think? On both sides. What, what would happen if I just went like this, like this, like this? It, it would become that way. It, it would be long and skinny. Yeah. A rectangle. Okay, and so we're kind of going for something of a square because we want it to fit on our circle plate. Okay, so you keep going and then until it stops moving. Okay, so you notice how it's moving still? Every time I roll it, it moves. Not done. Okay, oops. If that happens, okay, that's okay. Okay, just keep going. So you, another way you know that if you're done, you guys see how you get these little lines here? Yeah. That means you got what you, you still got to keep going, okay? So you're gonna keep going until those lines disappear and it stops moving. That's how you know you rolled out your slab. Nice and even, just keep going. You keep missing the top. It's okay. I'm getting close. some lines yeah I still see these lines okay I probably have a couple more flips to go it's almost a fidget spinner <laughs> yay everything's a fidget spinner okay I'm gonna do one more and then we'll call it good okay so if you mess up on your slab for now get just get a new piece of clay okay because I haven't taught you guys how to wedge it yet and I don't want to risk air bubbles, okay? So, now that you have your slab, you're gonna take your mold, okay? This is the kind of fun part, but you gotta be careful. So you're gonna take your mold, you're gonna put it underneath, and you're just gonna take this and lay it over the top so it's covering. Now, you're all gonna to wanna to start pressing it in with your fingers. Don't. don't do that, because you're gonna get little fingerprints everywhere. So instead, all you do is you just kinda, of, well, I'm actually gonna start by trimming off all this 
So I have what's called a banding, I mean a fettling knife, okay? It's really just not, it's just something to trim off stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do a better job of this later, but for now, I just wanna get the big stuff. Okay, now, all you're gonna do is just gently, I'm not dropping it from here. Okay, that's a mistake. Just gently tapping it down until it starts, you can start to see the, the form going, okay? Now, the last step before you trim it all the way is you take a damp sponge. It's not dripping water, but it is still have moisture, has moisture. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm compressing the clay. That's just getting all of all the clay a nice even consistency. And it also, by doing this, you get a nice smooth area and you don't have to worry about air bubbles and you don't have to worry about fingerprints. So it's just a nice smooth. I'm going all the way around the edge just like that. Okay, almost done. What else do I need to do, you think? Cut off all the red. Cut, cut, cut off, off all the edge. Okay. Can you go pause. get me a banding wheel? Pause. Do you, know, do you remember where they are? Yep. She said pause. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna use the banding wheel to do the final trim. And the reason for that is you just, you can move the plate and not your hands and you'll get a much even, much more even trim. So start with your fettling knife. You're gonna go straight up and down vertical, okay? And all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this in. And now, you guys see how it's straight up and my knife is vertical. What do you notice about my hand holding the knife? Is it moving? No. Okay, it's perfectly still. What is moving is the wheel, the wheel and the plate. Okay, so you may have to do this a couple times to really get like an even cut because, right, we're not, it's not gonna be perfect the first time. Okay, but there's, a, so now if you look around the edge, you guys see how some, and especially if you see the bot from the bottom, you see how some areas need a little bit more of a trim? Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and do that one more time. Before I do that, I'm gonna do one more round with my sponge just to make it nice and as even as I can make it. Okay, same thing. Um, the cleaner your knife, the cleaner the cut. So if you get little chunks of clay, clean those off. Just go right around. The perimeter. Okay, almost done. Okay, pretty good. Good enough. So, last step is you see how it's kind of rough on the edges? Take that sponge, and your job when clay dries, it gets hard. And if you have a sharp, if you have a corner, it's going to get sharp, and nobody wants to use a sharp plate that is dangerous so that's all you're gonna do is just go around like this it's a plate. It's a square plate. even a square plate though you're going to around the edges clean the edges a little bit okay so this is this is now basically a finished plate I could spend more time really cleaning this up if I wanted to but for time's sake that's it um, one last thing all of our plates are gonna look very similar right so, before I skip this step, do you want to write your name on the bottom of the paper plate with a pen or a sharpie before you roll your clay on it? Does that make sense? Now we know who's is who's. Okay, last step, we're going to store this. Okay, so you can stop that. Thank you, Kalei. Okay, this is where it goes. Follow me.